This is my Latin project. Back to game button. This is the library of Kelsus that I recreated. Um, perfect time for it to start raining. Chat edit box. Chat edit box. Chat edit box. Weather. Chat set the weather to clear. I'm a sorry. I'm sorry for the annoying chat thing. I can't get it to go away. Um. So this is Sophia, and she's wisdom. Episteme is knowledge. Enoia is intelligence. And Arete is valor. I didn't really have the room to create a fully fledged statue, so white armor is kind of what we got. Um, now, as far as the interior is concerned. Uh, the bottom houses chests, uh, in, these are supposed to be cabinets and, like, niches chest. in the walls. And there are scrolls, and cumulatively throughout this chest, or these chests, there are many, um, there are 12,000 scrolls. 12,000. Uh, this is the tomb of Gaius Julius Celsus. Polymyanus. Yeah, it's kind of a weird name. Chess. And this is my library summary book that I created as sort of like a written accumulation of my research. Welcome to the Library of Celsus. Built in 117 AD, named after Gaius Julius Celsus Polymyanus. His tomb lies in the far right corner under a statue of Athena. That's what you saw over there. The library has a capacity of 12,000 scrolls, and yes, there are 12,000 distributed throughout all the chests uh, that are stored in cabinets, in niches, and in the walls. Uh, that are in the walls. Uh, the walls are two layers thick to protect the books in like the bookcases that are on the top floor from the extreme temperatures and humidity on the exterior of the building. There's the four statues in the niches, um, and I already explained why they're white armor. I have constructed the main library building. There was an auditorium built when Hadrian was emperor, but I didn't make that. I tried to maintain a scale in the size of the building with it being 17 meters by 11 meters, thus 17 blocks by 11 blocks. Uh, I took some liberty on the interior, but I followed the info I had to the best of my ability. I hope you enjoy the experience and leave feeling wiser, because there are multiple monuments to wisdom and intelligence and knowledge, and one to valor, too. Uh, Chest. So there's that. And Chest. Uh, I closed all those. This is sort of like a little stand where you can read your book and the lantern and everything. And then if we go up top, uh, here are all the bookshelves. And you can see, actually, if I pop back down here, that this wall is two blocks thick. It is the outer wall that's 11 by, uh, 11 by 17. The inner wall is a little bit smaller. So, this is, uh, the interior is smaller than 11 by 17. That being said, I think it did a pretty cool job. Uh, another little podium for your book. And, yeah, it's a really neat place. Obviously, this is a Minecraft-generated village. I did not build it. But, here it is. In all of its... Glory. I apologize that this video will probably be pretty hard to hear. Um, I'm trying to speak up, but I hope that you have enjoyed your tour of my project. 
Gain menu 